Hello, and welcome to another episode of uh, Tableau in Two Minutes. What we are going to be walking through today is how to add custom shapes to your Tableau uh, version so that you can add them into your dashboards. Now, one of the things that I have been working on recently is this visualization of the uh, Formula One World Championship and how it travels from country to country. So you can see we start down here in Australia, then move up to Bahrain, etc., etc., until we eventually finish in uh, the UAE here after uh, 21 different points on the map. Now, one of the things uh, I think would be interesting, obviously we have dots highlighting at them at the moment, is why can't we import some sort of custom shape, maybe a flag, for example, uh, to make this dashboard look a little bit more interesting, maybe give it a little bit more pop. Uh, and we can do that in Tableau. So one of the things, uh, the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is we're gonna have to find some icons or shapes on the internet to download. Now, there are a couple of great places to do this. Uh, one of them is uh, flaticon.com. You can get uh, packs of various types of icons. You can see here there's a whole range of them. Um, so why don't we search for flags? And, oh, look, several options have uh, popped up. This one looks pretty good. So you can see uh, here we have a, an icon representing each flag, which is great. So we'll go ahead and download that pack, which I did um, earlier on. And then we're going to take the icons that are in this pack and export them into our Tableau repository. So you can see right here, this is the downloads folder. Um, I'm going to open this up. I'm actually going to open it up by extracting it into a new folder, which I'm going to create. So we've just uh, set this to extract. I'm going to set my output folder in pzip here to... Uh, navigate to my documents and then we're going to go into documents we're going to scroll down until we find my tableau repository then we're going to scroll down until we find shapes click on shapes and within shapes we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call that folder flags and then we're going to extract everything to that folder so as you can see that is extracting right now so we'll give that just a second to run that'll disappear takes a couple of minutes. This is quite a big, uh, big set of flags here. <clears throat> and then we're going to navigate into the shapes folder right here. You can see, see we're in users, John documents, my Tableau repository shapes. And then in here we have the new flags folder that we just created. So we can double click on that. Um, you'll notice that, uh, everything's been exported into a folder. So what we need to do is we need to go into this folder. We're going to find the PNG files which is all of our flags. I'm gonna scroll down to highlight everything, and then we're gonna cut. Do, 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 cut. And we're gonna go back to our flags folder, and then we're just gonna paste them. Tableau wants them to be in the root of this folder, the root being the first one up from shapes. So it's gonna look in shapes, it's gonna name all of our collections after the name on the folder, and then it's going to expect the icons themselves to be inside that very first folder. So my Tableau repository shapes, and then whatever the name of your collection is, is where you want to have all of your um, flags and things. All right, cool. So that's done. Now we can go back to Tableau. We're going to, we've already set this up to be a shape graph. If, if you want to learn more about how we did that, then uh, check out uh, one of our other videos. We'll have a link to that in the comments section once it's all finished up. Um, and we're going to click on shapes. So we have this set up as a shape graph, shape, and then more shapes. Now you'll notice automatically, oh, Tableau did actually include it. But what we want to do um, is click reload shapes. And that's going to research that folder, make sure that any new shapes we've added are included. And then we're going to navigate down, click on flags here. And then, oh, actually we're missing something. So we're going to take our country. We're just going to drag the country to the shape here as well then click on shapes, then go to flags. Then we're gonna click assign palette. And as you can see, since Tableau has no idea what Australia is or what the flag looks like, we're gonna to have to do some manual massaging to get the flags that we want. But we do have now a new, brand new custom set of shapes in Tableau that we can use on our dashboards to uh, set them up here. Here, we'll apply those and you can see We've got shapes in our dashboard. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stand by for another episode of uh, Tableau in two minutes. And we look forward to seeing you.